Are you looking to get hundreds of thousands of dollars toward your college education? If so, in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to chase down the money. Where can you find merit scholarships that offer full rides or full tuition? In this video, I'm gonna be focusing on top 100 ranked schools or so and some liberal arts colleges. If you want more data, we have an awesome blog that goes with this video. You can find that at supertutortv.com. We have a whole chart. In that chart, we're also gonna go over what's required for these scholarships, sort of some metrics, things like that. And we're gonna offer information on even more scholarships than I'm able to fit in this video. The lists that I'm gonna give in this video are not exhaustive. Got it, okay. If you're looking for help in this process and you wanna get these merit scholarships, you're probably gonna need an awesome GPA as well as potentially a great test score for many of these scholarships. If you need to get your test score up, make sure you check out supertutordv.com. I'm starting to do in-person like cram courses and other kinds of courses, so definitely check out supertutordv.com for the latest offerings that we have, group classes with me. We also have private tutoring. Make sure you also sign up for a mailing list, supertutordv.com slash subscribe. Totally free, awesome, cool. We're also on social. Make sure you check out all that stuff. I'm first gonna start off with the fact that when it comes to merit scholarships, as many of you know, most merit scholarships are attached to the institution, meaning that institutions give merit scholarships to lure super competitive, amazing candidates to their university. And that in turn helps that university keep their stats up and climb the rankings of US News and World Report, right? Right. So there are colleges playing that game. There are colleges that don't play that game. If you're looking to get merit scholarships and you wanna to apply to places like Harvard and Stanford, you're not gonna find merit scholarships for the most part there. Most super elite universities are not giving out full rides to people who are academically wonderful because they don't need to. But those colleges tend to have really awesome aid packages that cover the full cost of attendance for students who have financial need. Granted, those are still some of the most affordable schools for many people in this country to apply to because they do meet 100% of demonstrated need. Merit scholarships, for the most part, are not given out based on how much money your parents have or are going to contribute or how much money you've got in the bank, okay? Merit scholarships are based on your achievements and for the most part, your achievements alone. Okay, first thing I'm gonna start with is scholarships that are not necessarily specific to an institution. First one on this list is the stamp scholarship. Now the stamp scholarship is specific to some institutions, but it's specific to multiple institutions. There's a bunch of partner institutions that partner with this scholarship. This scholarship can offer up to full tuition depending on the university that you apply to. And there's different amounts at different universities. Now the stamp scholarship is actually administered through its partner institutions. So these scholarships don't necessarily initiate from the institution, but they're partner institutions with this program. So you can check this out not only through the stamp scholars website, but also you would apply for this program through the individual institutions, okay? Three scholarships now that are not institution specific. That means you apply for these independently. One is called the Cameron Impact Scholarship. Second is called the Jack Kent Cook Scholarship Program. And the third is called the Dr. Pepper Tuition Giveaway. All of these offer boatloads of cash, six figures or more. Some of them might cover full tuition depending on where you go. The Dr. Pepper is up to 100K, so it might not cover full tuition depending on where you attend but big money scholarships, these are popular scholarships. When it comes to scholarships that are big money scholarships, by the way, community service is typically more important than it is in elite college admissions. I know I have that video of like activities colleges care about and I talk about how like community service doesn't matter that much. Well, it matters more in the scholarship game. So it does matter for something, but just not like the admission. And scholarship applications are also a totally different game than elite college admissions, right? What you need to do to jump through the hoop to get into Harvard or to get into Stanford is not the same hoop that you need to jump through in order to get full merit to the University of Miami in Florida, okay? Generally, merit scholarships tend to be more based on hard, cold numbers. Do you have the GPA? Do you have the test score? They also wanna see leadership. Some of them wanna see community service. Some of them require a recommendation from your counselor, other things like that. But the hard, cold numbers are gonna be the most important factor in a lot of these scholarships. They want you to hit the numbers, okay? Next on my list, top 50 schools that offer up to full ride merit scholarships. So these are sort of your super competitive universities that are going to offer full ride. What's the difference between a full ride and tuition? Well, a full ride means they're also paying for your housing and your fees, okay? So all of that, your classes, and your housing and your meal plan, like it's all taken care of, cool? Robertson Scholars, so Duke and UNC students are eligible for this scholarship, 
But the scholarship is not run through Duke or through UNC. It's run through an organization called the Robertson Scholars. So you need to check out their website to apply to this. If you just go and apply to Duke, you don't automatically get entered to apply to this program necessarily. So go and check out the scholarship. It's something you might not have known about. University of North Carolina Chapel Hill also offers its own full ride merit scholarships as well through the university in addition to this Robertson Scholars program. So check out both of those if you're interested in UNC. Emory, Ohio State, University of Texas at Austin, Wake Forest, Northeastern, and University of Virginia. So all of these schools potentially offer full ride merit scholarships to some of their students. Some may offer more of these than others. And some may also offer other scholarships that are lesser scholarships. So they might offer some full rides, some full tuition, right? They might have like a staircase, so to speak. And that's pretty typical. Okay, now let's talk about top 50 schools that offer full tuition scholarships. USC, Boston College, Boston University, University of Georgia, University of Rochester, Tulane, of Vanderbilt, Wash U and St. Louis, University of Wisconsin-Madison, and William & Mary. So next I'm gonna talk about top 50 to 100 schools that offer up to full ride merit. So these are a little bit lower in the rankings, Rankings, schmankings, do they matter that much? I don't know. But at least I'm grouping them kind of according to competitiveness. These are all stupidly competitive though, especially when you're going for merit, so just be aware. But maybe a little easier than getting into Harvard. American University, Clemson, University of Florida, and by the way, all in-state Florida schools, like the University of Miami, are going to be offering full ride or full tuition scholarships to national merit scholars. In particular, Florida offers them. There also might be some other scholarship opportunities. Fordham University, George Washington University, Indiana University of Bloomington, North Carolina State, Miami University of Ohio, Michigan State, Stevens Institute of Technology, and University of Alabama. Now let's talk about top 50 to 100 ranked schools that are offering full tuition scholarships. Syracuse, SMU, Southern Methodist, Texas Christian, TCU, Loyola Marymount, sometimes known as LMU, so just a few more schools that are going to offer some good merit if you're interested, though you would be responsible for room and board. Cool. What I'm not going to talk about today in this video is that even beyond this list, there are a lot of state flagship universities that often offer great merit aid, particularly for in-state students. And that's a good tip for you guys. If you are looking for merit scholarships, even beyond the list that I'm gonna go through in this video, make sure you check out your in-state institution because oftentimes your in-state institutions are going to offer better merit than a lot of the other college options that you might have. Now we're gonna move on and I'm gonna start talking about some liberal arts colleges. So I'm gonna talk about a handful of liberal arts colleges that offer full rides or full tuition. With liberal arts colleges, just like with the nationally ranked universities, liberal arts colleges, that are really highly ranked, like your Williams, like your Amherst, you're not gonna really see much merit if at all, right? But when you get down the list a little bit, you'll start to see some offers. Washington and Lee, University of Richmond, Davidson, Furman University and Hendricks College all offer full rides. Full tuition scholarships can be had at Harvey Mudd, at St. Lawrence, Lewis and Clark, Oglethorpe, and Rose Holman Institute of Technology. Again, this is not an exhaustive list. There are plenty of other institutions. So that's all I've got for right now. Again, I encourage you guys to also check out your in-state flagship institution. That could be another great source for merit. Likewise, there are sometimes some scholarships that are only for in-state students and don't necessarily apply to out-of-state students. In this video, I focused on scholarships available nationwide to domestic students, but some of these are also available to international students. For that level of detail, check out the chart on our blog where we will list whether these are open to international students or not. And finally, I wish you all the best in this path to trying to find merit scholarships. Again, when it comes down to merit scholarships, I often see my kind of students who maybe they don't have a wow factor, maybe they're not like awesome sauce for Harvard or Stanford, but they have amazing grades and they have really good test scores and that combination alone and a little bit of community service or a little bit of involvement in your high school can be enough to push you over the edge to really secure amazing merit for college. Cool, cool. Okay, enjoy you guys, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Take care, bye-bye.